goes. Welcome back. So this one made a bit of a stick bait, 125 mil. Haven't really talked much at the start of it. I've had the flu, felt like crap. It's been busy as hell at work. So in the afternoons, I just come home, do what I can, and film it if I feel like it. <laughs> and that's where I'm up to. I've got four of them made. Skipped a few steps, I didn't film the carving because I'm not real good at carving, so I found that inside while I was watching TV one night. <clears throat> that one's got a bit of a purple sheen, I'm probably just going to paint over that because I'm not a fan of it. For some reason that powder made the lure girl yellow. That one's got a rattle. The reason behind that is I ran out of resin, so I had to try and take up a bit of space in the mould. <laughs> Done a bit of foil work on two of them. Read them on the rotisserie last night. So I'll probably hit them with the, um, what are they called? The candy colours. One orange, one green. See how they come out. <coughs> this one didn't work how I thought it would, but so I foiled it and I've put glitter in the clear coat. So it was shiny, but I don't know. Maybe in the sun it might look a bit better, but. At the moment, you can't really see the glitter. It's pretty late at night now. It's just coming on to 6 o'clock and I'm only just starting, so I'll probably just put the music on quiet and paint away. Probably won't talk much. Still don't know what I'm going to paint them. Just see what comes to mind as I'm working away. Alrighty. Let's get into it.
Alrighty, here he is. Had about four coats of that clear. <clears throat> Filled in his eye was putty, just to get rid of that hole. It's actually clay, it's not putty, but <clears throat> just filled it in so the mold comes out a bit nicer. Alright, let's sink him in some clay. Don't know if this is going to work or not, but it's going to be sitting that way down. Tape over his gills, hopefully try and stop some of that junk getting in there. sealed up we're ready to go I'm split in the wood there I'm just covered with clay Using that pink seal, it's far set and a half an hour roughly. Thirty minutes. It's crazy how quick that shit sets.
wait for that to set up and we'll check her out. All right. Let's crack it open and see if she comes out. Get annoyed about that. Started the set before I got in the mold, so it's not level. That one there, I got pretty much perfect. There's a lot of bubbles in it, but that doesn't matter. Moment of truth, will it even open? Of course it will. Super impressed about these little keyholes that didn't work properly, but you get that sometimes. Mold it up a few of the blanks. So I'll just put that all, all in up until this point and then we'll recommence. It's late at night now, I'm just going to put some paint on them and get into it. Just going to do a bit of opaque black across the back of the foiled ones.
It's a tiny bit of overspray on this other one, so I'm just going to wipe it back. with so it's got this metal color chrome this I don't know polystyrene foam cell type stuff I'm just gonna rip a little bit of that off and dab some marbling along the spine when you rip it you get that real jagged uneven edge should work all right I think That doesn't really need any more. It's really just transition that spine into the sides. Do the other one too. All right, let's hit him with the candy. So, so far, all I've done is widen the belly. After eating with the candy, I'll see if I come back with something. Shit ton of flying ants in here at the moment. It's night time and it's about to rain. I forgot to press record, just hit the guts of that one with a bit of orange. Bit of yellow. And then I've just base coated that one yellow. Very rough, for a reason. That one, base coated orange, very rough again. Do a bit of heat setting and then I'm going to put some sticky tape on them. Make them look funny. So these are purposely going to be rough looking. They won't even match side to side, but that's not going to matter. So I'm literally just tearing the, the tape so it's got a jagged edge, uneven edge, natural edge.
So, sky blue on the belly, metallic bright blue on the upper sides, then when I get to the back I'll hit it with a dark blue, probably with a bit of pattern through it. <clears throat> I'll let that set for a bit. I'll come back, I'll peel that tape off, then I'll do its spine. That one will be done. Yeah, let's hit him. Don't know how well this is going to come out. Yellow over orange. It's not doing much. Let's dump some white in there. yellow green across the top half blend it into the bottom half all right let's tackle this blue one laying down we'll peel this tape off He should be dry. He's dry. Fingers crossed too much of the um, yellow doesn't come off underneath. Wife's coming to check see if I'm alive. <laughs> Been out here a while now. You still alive? How'd you make dinner? Give me a sec, I'll come inside and eat it with you. Okay. Too many bugs out here. I'll be back. Go and eat. Might as well peel the orange one too. And then I'll come back, finish the paints. Hopefully he's dry. He's been sitting a while while I was eating, so he should be dry. And this one I'm a little bit worried about because the paint was peeling. But doesn't matter too much. So all the little spots of white that'll pop through will add character.
<clears throat> as long as it doesn't get too crazy like that one. A bit like a metallic purple back. Super contrasting. Let's do it. Don't know how transparent this purple is. It's metallic as well. Not very transparent. It's a bit funny, doesn't he? Forgot to press record. Some fins on him, blackened up his eyes, traced around the gills. Looks stupid, but shit happens. It's done now.
I have a feeling these are going to be too small for these lures. I'll chuck them on anyway. Seven point two split ring, twenty kilo. Yep. BKK Diablos, what are they? A three O. Single inlines. Alright, so we're not putting hooks on this one. I haven't got anything that'll actually fit it. Got those, but the only split rings that'll actually fit through the eye, I think, are a 10 kilo rating, which that hook's a. That hook looks like it's a 1x anyway, so it's probably not going to be strong enough. Definitely won't be strong enough. Alright. Oh well. Maybe one of these ones get beaten up. I'll just take the hooks off it and put it onto this one. Alrighty. Let's check how much they weigh with the, the hooks on. So these two. They're going to be similar. Same exact thing. So they're all a 1.6 millimeter through wire. At about 14 grams of lead spread across sort of that distance in the guts in the belly obviously same looks same rings so and this guy was one I was short on the resin same again 1.6 mil through wire 14 grams of lead in the in the belly because I had to put that rattle chamber in there to take up some of the space of the resin I was short on I was short by about 8 grams so I think it'll weigh a little bit less. Hopefully it doesn't float. So I've designed all these to be slow sink. Seventy point one. So what's that? Sixty seventy gram difference. No, point seven of a gram difference. So they're pretty close. And this one with the the rattle in him. Sixty five. He should still should still sink. Now I'm not going to be able to tell with this one because it's got no hooks on it, but there you go, the blank alone is 60.1. Alright, I'll have a look at this one without hooks. So it barely floats. One of the rattle. Those sinks a little bit head first, which is good. And the other ones might actually sink pretty hard. Nah, they're still pretty slow as well.
last one indeed, just for shits and giggles. You see a bit of that glitter in there. Don't know if the camera's actually picking it up or not, but. Alrighty guys, that's gonna wrap her up. I'm not actually gonna get out and get a chance to fish these guys for probably about two weeks, so once I do that I'll post up the video. Hopefully I actually catch something. Even though it's a baby GT, one or two kilo, I'd be happy with that. <laughs> Can't ask for too much. That's the old wooden master that we started with. It's made out of acacia. Nice and soft, easy to carve. Nothing special. And yeah, this one without the hooks. It's only got a 1.2 mil through wire, so I must have just grabbed the wrong wire when I was molding it up. I realised when it was time to come to paint, but too bad, sad, sad. She's already done. So I rolled with it. I dare say if I catch anything decent on that, it's going to bend it. We'll see what happens though. They come out alright. Got a bit of colour shift up through the scales on the top. It's hard to see on the camera in the shed light. They come out alright though. Pretty happy with that. This one. <clears throat> the one that I said looks like Homer Simpson shot it with the makeup gun. Didn't come out how I wanted it to, but she's nice and bright. Yellow on the guts, purple, it's got to be that green colour shift in the top of that as well. I think it goes green to purple. It's got to look right over that purple pattern. It's a 1.6 mil through wire, 3 in lines. Probably need to be bigger, but that's all I've got. This one, you can see that glitter a bit now with the Better light on it, but try to put a bit of a scale and a lateral line through that foil. Orange on the belly, and that marbling on the top. So one's got the 1.6 mil through wire as well. Weighs 70 grams. Last one, this one's my favourite one. Don't know why, just nice colour, bright, contrasting eye. Pretty sure it's the eye that does it, but yellow on the belly. Marble top. <clears throat> so again that's got that 1.6 mil through wire, 14 grams of lead in the belly. 3RO BKK Diablos. Okay. Alright, guys, I'm not going to get a chance to use these anytime soon, so I'm going to wrap up this video now. When I do actually get out and use them, I'll try and show you. Hopefully, I'll catch something decent. Alright, catches.